This is Jarrett Watson from Power RC Hobbies. Today we're going to have a closer look at a Total G flight control system by Curtis Youngblood Enterprises. Okay, a closer look inside the box. First thing you'll see is actually the Total G unit itself. It's supported in a nice cardboard insert protecting it from shipping. And also you see here you have your single page Total G information instruction manual. I'll cover the finer points of that here in just a moment. Uh, this is the Total G unit itself. It's very small works on all helicopters um, all the way from you know a 250 to a gasser um, it's basically it's a lot different than other flight control systems as it does have a built-in tail gyro of course as well as a governor and also a receiver uh, this does work well with spectrum receivers and JR type receivers uh, it can accommodate up to three satellites for the 450s we recommend two uh, 600 and above we recommend uh, running all three satellites if you run a Futaba receiver it does include the wires to attach it, so you can run your regular Futaba receiver and this in line with it. Okay, going on through the box here, as you can see, uh, this Total G flight control actually does come with a USB to mini USB cable. The manual says it does not, but it in fact actually does. Here's your uh, Total G interfacing cable. This basically is a four pin type plug that plugs right into your uh, flight control system or the gyro governor port. It does have a mini USB receptacle. You simply plug your USB cable into your computer and then the other end right in here to access the uh, setup of the Total G flight control system. Because this uh, Total G flight control is a governor as well, it does come with a uh, Hall effect sensor. Uh, that's used for, you know, typical governor installations on the clutch bell or in some electrical instances or electrical helicopters, you can put it on the main gear or tail drive gear for a one-to-one -one type ratio. The magnet is included as well as a universal sensor that you might have to modify to fit your uh, needs and whatever type of helicopter you're installing it on. Okay, we're going to have a closer look on how the Total G flight control interfaces with external receivers. As you can see right here, you have a little diagram on the bottom of the Total G here. One says external one and external two. You have two wires that are included with the Total G itself. Basically, these plugs right here, the single plugs, are going to plug into external one and external two. Um, what you're going to do with the other three signal type wires, these are going into your external receiver, such as your Futaba receiver or whatever. Um, extension one, you're going to plug it into the collective, elevator, and throttle channel. External two is going to go to rudder, aileron, and aux two. Also included is a modified male-to-male -male adapter. This is how you're going to power your remote receiver and power the Total G itself. Um, basically, you have a uh, male on one end, male on the other end, as well as one female. Okay, moving along uh, of the contents of the Total G box. As you can see here, it also comes with four pieces of double stick tape. Uh, this is very similar to the Solid G tape, just a slightly different size. Also included is two straps, two Velcro straps for securing the uh, Total G flight control into your helicopter. Um, inside the manual of the Total G, it does give you four mounting positions that you can mount the Total G in. Uh, we do recommend, obviously, you have to stick to one of those four. But when you do mount it, make sure the uh, unit is square uh, to the main shaft and square to the helicopter. Otherwise, the machine might do some weird stuff in rolls. Uh, also, if you're if you're running a larger nitro, like a 50 size or a 90 size nitro, and the uh, setup's very, uh, relatively smooth, you know, no excessive engine vibration or any kind of vibrating or vibration problems, uh, you can just use one layer of tape. The manual recommends using two. Uh, we found out if you just use one layer of tape, really wrap the Velcro around it and secure the wires very well. That's how you get the most performance out of the Total G flight control. Okay, as mentioned earlier on in the video, we were going to discuss the instruction manual in a little bit more detail. Uh, my personal recommendation, read, 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 and understand the manual before you install it in your helicopter, and of course, before you go fly your helicopter. Uh, you really got to understand this to know what's going on uh, in the wrong hands. It can be very, very, very dangerous, so please, again, read and understand the instruction manual. The tech guys at Curtis Youngbloods are very nice, very helpful, and very informative. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give them a call. They can be more than happy to help you out with the setup. Okay, we got the manual opened up here. Uh, as you can see, it's a simple one-page manual with a lot of information in there. Um, basically, it tells you, go ahead and uh, right here, it tells you how to mount the Total G to your helicopter. Uh, it goes into a little more detail about using remote receivers and where each, uh, uh, each uh, wire goes. Um, basically, uh, how to connect to the unit, and we'll open the manual up a little further here. 
Right here it tells you how to uh, build your sensor for your governor feature. Also it tells you how to go ahead and how to hook up your interface cable to your computer as well as programming the Total G itself. Flip the manual over. It's got a uh, pretty much a whole page dedicated to setup and what each of the menu items are. Uh, basically a pre-flight function check to make sure everything's traveling in the correct direction. A quick pre-flight checklist as well as some do's and don'ts. Uh, also, it's worth mentioning on CurtisShimblood.com, there is a resource page for the Total G. It goes into a lot of Curtis's um, notes that he publishes on there quite often, as well as uh, you can download the latest software, uh, firmware for the unit itself. Also, uh, it, it tells you how to uh, get your computer ready for the setup. There is a .NET framework upgrade that does have to be done to most computers to successfully connect to the Total G. Uh, it covers that, like I said, on the CurtisChangleBud.com homepage at the Total G resource section. Okay, we just had a closer look at what's inside the box of the Total G flight control system from Curtis Youngblood Enterprises. Uh, it's worth noting, I didn't mention earlier on in the video, but you can turn each one of these items off. Uh, if you don't want to run a governor per se, you know, you know you're a multi gut fan or like a, uh, you know, a limiter from Spectrum fan, you can simply turn off the ATG inside the unit. Uh, same with the tail gyro, you don't like the mini G, you like Spartans or whatever, you can turn the mini G tail function off and use an external gyro on here. Uh, same with the receiver, uh, if you don't want to use it as a receiver or your Futaba Aerotronics high tech user, simply use the remote external receivers uh, in, that, in, in its place. Um, also this, this Total G could save you a little bit of money if you're fixing to buy a buy and build a brand new fly barless helicopter as it contains all these items. You don't have to purchase them separately. Uh, right now the Total G is $399. Uh, it's available from us at PowerCHobbies.com. Again, I'm Jarrett Watson. Thanks for watching.